Hello everyone, I would like to share my dream with you. And in this dream, I see a bright light coming down from heaven. And everyone around the world was looking up. But it, it wasn't just one bright light, it was like a thousand of lights coming down. And these lights landed on the earth. And as we were all standing there looking, the light opened up. And as we were looking, it looked like men. They had the form of a man. And as they started walking closer to me, I could see that they were part animals, animals mixed with men. And I saw one of them that had the face of a dragon and the moon was over his head. And then I looked and I could see lion-like men and they were all just walking out of this bright light that landed on the earth. And they were all part man and part animals. And one of them walked towards me and he had the body of a man, but he had the face of a bird, of a falcon. And he said to me, I am the God of the underworld, the world of darkness. And as soon as he got through saying that, there was an earthquake. And there was fire everywhere and smoke was coming up out of the earth. And I saw more animal-like men coming up out of the earth. And the dragon that had the moon over his head, he spoke to me. And he said, join me. And I started screaming. And I said, get away from me. Get away from me, you devil. Get away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Get away from me. And I turned in the dream and I saw my brother Preston. And he was writing a bunch of numbers down and I couldn't make out what the numbers were. And I said, what are you doing? Why are you writing down all of those numbers? And he said to me, it is the time of the great tribulation, the days of the beast. And the people in the dream, we all started running. And we were running so fast to get away from these animal-like men, part animals. They had animal faces, but they had human bodies. That was the only part of them that was animals, was their heads. And we started running toward the mountain. And we didn't go inside of the mountain. We were standing on top of the mountains. And we were looking up. And everywhere we looked up in the heavens, there were fires everywhere. The heavens were on fire like they were burning. And I saw chariots coming down. And when we looked at the fires, there was a flash of light. And we're now standing inside of the chariots. And there stood a man, a man in white, but I only saw the back of him at first. I didn't know who he was. And when the man in white turned around, I knew he was the angel Gabriel because I've seen Gabriel many times. And I said to him, hi, Gabriel. It is good to see you again. And he spoke to me and he said, welcome home, Donna. Welcome home. And I said to the angel, praise God. It is good to be home. Praise God. And Gabriel spoke to me in the dream and he said, the fallen have come home. They have been redeemed from the earth. And the dream was over. And I woke up from the dream. And I had this dream. I know it was 3 o'clock in the morning. I know because I was looking at the clock when I woke up. And I said, I, I never know what God is doing at 3 o'clock in the morning. And even Preston has noticed that things have been happening to him at 3 o'clock in the morning. The dream was amazing dream. When I saw those men, the only part of them what was animals was their heads. But they were coming down from the heavens and they were coming up out of the earth. It was a terrible dream. And I could see Preston writing down numbers. And I kept thinking, what are you doing? Why are you writing down these numbers? And I couldn't make out what he was writing. It was just a lot of numbers on a paper. And he was telling me it was the time of the great tribulation because the beasts were on the earth. Whoo, Lord.
I thank God for everything that he gives me. But there is a lot of things and dreams and visions that he gives me. Uh, I don't understand why he gives them to me. But I had to share this dream with you. Because I know that there's someone out there that this dream means something. It's going to mean something to someone. God bless each and every one of you. I thank you all for standing together with me in this amazing gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, church. God bless you.